46,500 students took the SAT or ACT as part of our seventh grade talent search for this school year. This year we invited just over 30% of those students to participate in 28 state recognition ceremonies around the country. That was about 15,000 students that scored as high as a typical college-bound high school student. Today, each of you are here at our grand recognition ceremony held in Cameron Indoor Stadium. I know some of you all have seen this on TV, right? I mean, come on, you got to be a little inspired. No? Okay. <laughs> some of you, I know you are. Those Blue Devil fans. So we are honoring our top 5% of students, each of you that took the test this year. And your score was typical of the top 90% of high school students. That's quite remarkable. Let's give you a round of applause. So you're among one of the largest group of students that we have recognized at this ceremony, with 604 of you present here today, and over 2,300 family members. You're coming from 33 different states and families. We have 17 sets of twins here. You come as far, I actually met one of the families from Hawaii. And you've done a lot of things. It includes math counts, the spelling bee winners, accomplished instrumentalists, science fair prize winners, brilliant vocalists, community service award winners, essay contest winners, top ranked dancers, champion athletes, exceptional speakers, Eagle Scouts and Girl Scouts, Gold Girl Scouts. So you are quite amazing. Having this ceremony, the 39th Grand Recognition Ceremony here in Cameron Indoor Stadium is tremendous. This is a stadium of champions for our women's and, and men's basketball teams. So I'd like to pause and recognize who brought you here today. When I usually I ask the question, why are you here? Many will say, well, my parents made me come. <laughs> they made you come because they have a big vision for who you are now and who you will become. They got it figured out. So I'd love for each of you to stand up and let's recognize our parents, guardians, families for all of their support of you. So turn to your family and recognize and thank them for their heart. We know they make a huge difference in who you are and who you will become. I am delighted to introduce our guest speaker. Um, I was trying to think about what to say about Gary Bennett, so I went online, I got the bio, everything's listed out, and I guess I'll just start by saying he's my boss. <laughs> Please be nice to him. <laughs> Gary is quite amazing. His resume and bio is long. He is the Bishop McDermott Family Professor of Psychology and Neuroscience, Global Health and Medicine at Duke University. He also serves as Duke's Vice Provost of Undergraduate Education, where he leads and coordinates undergraduate academic curricular and co-curricular policy across organizational lines and serves as a primary spokesperson for Duke's undergraduate experience. I am pleased to share that the Duke TIP program actually reports into his organizational structure. Gary continues to direct the Globe, Duke Global Digital Health Science Center, and he is the immediate past president of the Society of Behavioral Medicine. His research program designs, tests, and disseminates digital obese, obesity treatments. He is especially interested in integrating digital health treatments into the primary care setting, particularly those that serve medically vulnerable patients. Prior to coming to Duke in 2009, he was on the faculties of Harvard School of Public Health and Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. He holds a bachelor's degree from Morehouse College and a PhD in clinical health psychology at Duke University. He also completed a, a postdoc at Harvard School of Public Health. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Gary Bennett.
much better. It's so nice to see all of you today. So parents, siblings, grandparents, friends, second cousins twice removed, I bid you welcome to Duke University and to this lovely facility. Now, Shauna mentioned many wonderful Duke memories have been created here at Cameron. At some basketball game, 